But when I look back at what our keys to success were, and they were, you know, the idea worked. We were able to navigate the FDA process. It was predictable. Uh, investors had confidence in our patents. Uh, they, they knew that uh, eventually we would get protection, um, and then that would be powerful, that we could enforce those patents. Um, we, could, we had ready access to financing, um, able to obtain great clinical advice. We work closely with our, our clinical advisors, get them in the lab, pay them appropriately, incentivize them appropriately to take time out of their practices to spend with us. Uh, we were able to go into a scenario where the reimbursement uh, was already there in place for the procedure, uh, and we were able to quickly establish it and kind of get it covered under that umbrella. Uh, we were able to attract great people, and we worked really hard and never gave up. But when I look at this list, and I think about some of the challenges that now face the med tech industry, this is what's at risk, is the opportunity to do this again, um, given what has happened within the last just couple of years, just within the last two years. There have been some dramatic things that have happened, and that's what I'm really going to talk about for the rest of the talk here, and hopefully try to get some of you who care about this and want to be in this space to take uh, some action and, and help uh, make things better. I mean, we are essentially facing what is essentially a perfect storm in med tech. There, it's the global financial crisis. It's the certain aspects of health care reform. It's not all bad, but there's certain aspects that are quite damaging for our industry. Uh, limitations on the ability to interact with physicians. Certain aspects of patent reform that are quite scary. Uh, changes at the FDA, potentially devastating. And, uh, and a broken reimbursement system that really penalizes things that are new and, and potentially better and puts a really high bar on their success.